Hey guys, so to start off this drugstore makeup look, I'm going to moisturise my skin and I'm using the Garnier Nourish Plus cream for dry to very dry skin and then I'm using this Lumi Magique base primer by L'Oreal as a, like a dewy kind of base and then I'm going to be using my NYX orange concealer just to colour correct my mouth area as always just to prevent ashiness. Next I'm going to be using my Body Shop Shade Adjusting Drops in the Lightening version and I'm mixing that with the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation in F400. It's a tad bit dark for me so I'm adding, I added around 2 drops or so to the foundation and mixed it up a bit. Here I'm testing it to see if it's okay, it was a bit too dark so I added another drop in and mixed it up and that was just like perfect for me so... Um, I just buffed that into my skin. I'm using a face brush that I got from an Amazon set. Just to let you guys know, this foundation is going to be coming out in more shades. I'm not too sure if it's already come out, but there's like a ton of shades that they're coming out with. So if you've been wanting to try this and they don't have your colour, this is like the right time to look into it because it's a really, really good foundation. And then for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25. It's a tad bit light, but I still work with it. Um, if you add a bit of bronzer on top while you're bronzing your skin it just kind of darkens it up a bit and then I'm just dampening my beauty blender with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and I'm just blending that all out I'm then going to grab the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and I'm using the yellow powder in there to set that all in place next I'm going to be taking the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep and I'm just going to be bronzing up my skin and slightly contouring as well with it. I'm then going to be using this sleek palette and I'm grabbing the orange shade for blush. Now you want to be quite careful with this blush because it's quite pigmented and I it did apply blotchy at first. Um, but I just dabbed it with my foundation brush and it kind of smoothed out a bit more. Then for highlighter I'm going to be using the 17 Instant Glow bronz Bronzing Rocks. And I'm just going to heavily highlight my face with this because I went a bit overboard. But it's just so natural and like nice so I really like this highlighter for just like every day and then for my brows I'm going to be using the collection brow kit this is like an oldie but a goodie I used to use this so much when I first started out my channel um, and I've been using it quite a lot I did neglect neglect it for a while but it's just really quick and easy to do your brows and it's only like three pounds or something so it's super affordable and I only use the two darker shades in the palette and then I'm just cleaning my brows up underneath with the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in the shade Golden. It's so good for cleaning up your brows. And then I just use the Rimmel Clear Brow Gel just to set my brows in place. Now just to prep my eyelids, I'm going to be using the same concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me one and just applying that all over and I'm going to be grabbing the Sleek palette again and I'm going to be using the kind of skin tone colour one and just setting the concealer in place. I'm also going to be taking the orange shade again and buffing this into my crease. And you want to make sure that there are no harsh lines when you're doing this. And I'm only using this on the outer corner as well. And then the next shade I'm going to be taking is the darkest brown in the palette. And I'm going to be using this only on the outer corner. I did bring it into the crease a bit and, you know, mostly in the inner corner as well. But um, again, you just want to just blend and mostly keep it to the outer corner. And again, the brush that I'm using is from an Amazon brush set, so all the brushes that I use that are from Amazon, I'll write all of them in the info box. Because a lot of you ask me about them and these ones don't really have individual names, so I can't really say which ones I'm using exactly. But um, if you guys are wondering, they will be all in the info box and if I am using like a branded one, I'll state it in the video if I do remember. Um, I'm also using the dark brown on the lower lash line as well. 
I'm then going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Indetectable, I think that's what it's called, um, eye pencil and it's in black and I'm just lining my lower waterline and the upper waterline as well. And today I'm finally using another mascara and it's called the L'Oreal Full Slash Flutter Midnight Blacks Mascara and it's actually quite good. It's not that good, great for like volume but for length it's really really good. If you want like kind of like f wispy fluttery lashes this is the one to go for. And then for my lips I'm just going for a soft pink kind of lip and I use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Can. But yeah, this is the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you would like to see next and I will see you all next time. Bye!